personality does she believe in building for her students? And her forte surely is to prepare the students for the real world outside. Welcome to Rendezvous with Alicia, episode one, season two. Today we have with us a very special guest, the principal of SMBP Yevrana, Ms. Rashmi Shibla. Thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. Welcome to the Rondo series. Thank you very much, Alicia. It's a pleasure. All right, ma'am. So could you tell us what actually inspired you to be a principal? When I joined this school, I felt there are so many, um, you know, tidbits in the system which can be rectified by a small uh, modification. It doesn't require much of the thing. So gradually when I was going through my journey as a teacher and organically got promoted as a coordinator, then the next podium was principal. So inspiration I would say yes definitely, that I thought I can contribute um, in a better way to this entire school system. And, uh, but basically I remain a teacher. Teaching is what gives me the most uh, wonderful experience. That's so good to hear. And for sure, you did leave a mark on every student. I am pretty sure about that. As a teacher, I would definitely say that every teacher leaves a mark and that's why it's very important that teachers understand their value in the entire um, teaching learning system because we carve the child. You know, whatever we are seeing as an adult is what we have given to the children. So it's extremely important. So that way is sure I have and every teacher does. That's very true, ma'am. So speaking of carving a niche, how would you say SMBP, the group of institutes, SMBP, carves a niche of uh, itself in the field of education? SMBP is carving a niche in the field of education by providing a holistic education to the child. Now what is holistic education? I would quote a statement or a show from, uh, from Sanskrit which says Vidya Dadati Vinyan, Vinya Diyati Patrata, Patratva Dharma Pradoti Dhana Pradhanam Tata Sukha. So what does this mean? This means that you know, knowledge gives, makes you humble because you know you do not know anything mm -hmm. and you're, that's why Guru is so important. So knowledge makes you humble. That when you become humble, you become skillful because you're learning, you are in that attitude, you are in that mode. When you become skillful, you start earning money, yes. right? Then only you can generate money. And when you earn money, and at that money, when you do your dutiful act, it means what when you're doing your dutiful act, then it gives you the kind of contentment, right? So this policy is adopted by SMDP Group of Institutes. Each one of us, each branch is working for the same policy. And uh, specifically, if I talk about SMDP Yerbara, we are completely focusing upon certain foundation values. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's why definitely I can say that SMDP is creating a niche. And if you see in the field of sports, we have done wonderful. Like we are the only school group of institute which is providing under 16 national hockey tournament for boys. Mm -hmm. And this year we are coming up with the girls tournament as well. So, I mean, it's wonderful to be associated with an organization who's, which is so, so um, inclusive and which is so, so, um, what do you say, enthusiastically participating in everything. That is very true. So, when we talk about inclusivity, that's definitely what defines SNBP. But if I ask you what is the USP of SMBP Yevra, what would you say? The USP of SMBP Yevra is its happy learning environment. And it is not restricted to the classroom. We take small initiatives in developing practical knowledge in the students. For example, you know, housekeeping requires mm. the detergent powder for the day to day cleaning purpose. So instead of buying it from the market, we have given this uh, project to standard 11 and they are doing the needful. So we will not buy the detergent from the outside. It would be 
in-house generated product. Also, um, this is just one of the examples what we are doing at the school. We strongly believe that rich Indian tradition and culture must get transferred to the younger generation. And for this purpose, SMBB Edinburgh has a completely exclusive platform, COPA, Center of Performing Arts, to promote various classical forms of Bharatanatyam, Kathak, vocal music, instrumental, um, drama. And uh, along with that, the sports department has uh, come up with a beautiful association with COPA, where we are teaching chess, um, karate and uh, a very uh, not so popular martial art or not so popular warrior art, Shivkala. Now not many people are aware about Shivkala but it is a very ancient form of um, defense. So we have a certified mentor for that. The good part about Kopa is it is not age restricted. So through this platform I would like to invite all of you to come and explore yourself, your hidden talents. There is no age restriction as, a, as I said. So along with the child, parents can also learn about, right? So I would say that uh, SMEP ever has a beautiful amalgamation of academics and arts. So ma'am, education is all about evolving, I believe. So would you say our education system as a whole needs to evolve so that one doesn't end up, the students especially, do not end up following the herd mentality? I would say not our education system need to evolve, but we need to evolve. We need to yes. understand what is the education, what does this mean, how we want to take it ahead to the future generation. Because education system is quite evolved and uh, if you see the ancient Indian system, mm -hmm. the way gurus were taking care of the students and the teaching learning methodologies were more um, action based, yes. more research based, you know, active participation was there. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I can definitely say that uh, we need to evolve us. We need to understand that our uh, entire persona is affecting the child's mindset. So when we are delivering something, when we are teaching them a concept, how to go about it. Truly, definitely. That was a beautiful answer. And thank you for sharing that with us. So, as the education fraternity, I believe all the teachers and principals out there agree with me, we stress a lot on parent involvement. So my question to you, Mom, is why is it important for the parents, you know, mother, father, both of them, to be involved in, you know, academically in the school life and the personal life of the student? Very beautiful question. See, we need to understand when the child comes to the school, the school is introduced by the parents. Mm -hmm. Right? Child doesn't know where to go. Yes. Right? We say Pratham Guru is Mata, Trite Guru is Pita, and Trite Guru comes to the school, mm -hmm. teacher. It is extremely important that when they are introducing the child to this education system or to this to, to the new person who is going to be with the child and they ask that you know you need to listen to this person, to listen to your teacher. Mm -hmm. The child gets the right message and it fits in his mind, right, in the child's mind. So uh, usually you would have seen that the child doesn't disobey if you go in pre-primary section. Right. Children do not wish the principal, but they wish their mother teacher. Mm -hmm. If the mother teacher says that, get up, say good morning, they will get up and say good morning. Right? Yes. So a beautiful bond is getting generated through the, um, through the words of parents. You, know, you have to listen to that teacher, she is your teacher. That trust gets transformed from the parents to the students, to the student. Now, um, when the child is growing, the constant talk about the school, about the methodologies, about the uh, future plans, everything happens at home. Yes. Because the child is with us only for those six ten hours. So, when the parent are, is in positive mood and when they talk positive, when they 
feel happy about the schooling and then they feel, you know, um, very, very connected with the school, they transfer the same thing to the child and automatically it becomes a cycle. Right. So it is very important that the parents' involvement must be there. Also, to guard a child into a fine human being, mm -hmm. it is extremely important that parents are constantly in touch with the school and whatever the school is doing, parents know, and whatever parents are feeling, school knows because children are very sharp. They know very well if they do not want anything, how they have to go or how they have to approach or that if they want something, how they have to approach. Mm -hmm. So it is extremely important that these both parties should be aligned with each other so that we can plan in a better way and in a more trustworthy way. Absolutely, ma'am. So it definitely, you know, dear parents, dear teachers, it's our unison, it's our unity which brings up a child. So when we talk about unity, ma'am, one question comes to my mind. We deal with teens, we deal with children. Both have this tendency of not being able to share. So if they are able to share, how do we as you know, teachers, as parents, as principals, even as peers, as friends, how do we ensure that we create a safe space where the children can, or friends can, you know, uh, make us our confidant and they share whatever feelings they have? So this is my last question to you. How can they do that? How do we provide a safe environment? I want to answer this question in just a very simplified way that do not overreact. Yes. Don't be judgy. Don't overreact. Do not create a hangama just because the child doesn't know that you have also gone through the same phase. <laughs> right? And uh, teens especially, they feel whatever is happening to them, whatever they are feeling has not been felt by anybody else. What will they think? What will, how will she react? How will my principal react? Mm -hmm. How will my teacher react? But we have, we all have gone through that phase, right? It's extremely important to normalize the things. Yes. You know, you do not need to make it a kind of, um, kind of uh, out of the world hmm. um, scenario. Yeah. So it is, you need to tell them it's very normal and there is a solution for every problem. Probably what you are going through is not a problem is a, mm -hmm. and you are feeling it's such a big issue. So one is one very important thing is do not overreact and don't be judgy. That is very important. Another thing to provide them uh, a safe environment to you know to share their things, to share their thoughts is they should trust you. They should know that you are not um, taking their experiences or taking their things or getting the information from them to broadcast somewhere else. Absolutely. It will be confined in you mm -hmm. and you are going to provide a solution. Right. So if we take these small and simple steps, I think this entire problem of not sharing, they are able to share. Mm -hmm. But it is we who overreact on everything. At times we do. Yeah. So we need to stop that and be more, um, what do you say, be more calm while we listen to them. Alright, a calm demeanor. I'll definitely remember that. So well, thank you so much ma'am for sharing your views. You are not just a mentor for the teachers and students in your own brand, you are for all of us and even the parents. I believe, you know, parents, students, everybody will learn a lot from you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. And thank you everybody for joining in and uh, keep waiting for our next episode. Take care. God bless.